nobody out here but us. We're the ones making the noise, yammering away the camera. Yeah, and... Out here, there is nothing. Well, there is a big list of things that you should do and shouldn't do. And one of the things that you shouldn't really do, but you do do, is squiddle your boat away and you're half cut. On booze? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Have you been at an RNL I do drinking wine? Decided to um, live in Bangor, Northern Ireland Marina for um, the next six months. Um, we left uh, Holly uh, Head. We left Holly Head, and um, we were going to carry on our adventures. And then I just said, Do you know what, Bev? I think it'd be better if we did DIY on the boat because <laughs> we'd had that much issues. And we decided that, yes, we'd uh, do more project work on the boat and then start, continue our adventures in the spring when it's nicer. Um, anyway, we're quite glad about our decision. We've only been here a week and uh, we've had um, Storm Lorenzo hitting exactly where we would have been if we'd have gone south. So... The fact that we're in the quiet of uh, Bangor Marina just makes life so much easier. Well, Bobbily and I have been hearing a uh, rattle. And uh, I have to be honest, we've pulled the, uh, both the cockpit ta um, locker apart and the, um, all, all our lockers apart and we can't find the rattle. Uh, so uh, Beverly decided to uh, put our tough camera underneath the um, um, boat. boat and um, as you can see from this little clip here you can see we have a gap and uh, we think that that is where our rattle is coming from. So uh, it means that we're going to have to do a little lift out. Um, and we're just going to go for what's called a lift and clean uh, because that's the cheapest um, service they do so we're going to do a lift and clean and hopefully sort out our rattle so let's go <laughs> job was to get the slime washed off. The copper coat was still doing its job with almost no barnacles in sight. And the hard anti-file on the keel was also holding up well. Okay, so this is our loose anode, as you can see. So this is the, the sound we've been hearing, isn't it, Bev? We've been hearing a rattle. And, uh, and it sounds just like that. That's definitely our rattle. So we've got to uh, put the anode on properly. Yeah. But yeah, like you can see, you can see here, it's just... Right, so first step, first take the cone off. Yep. Yeah. And uh, using this special tool that we have. Pull the bar. Hey! Whoa. Don't need to take my really... Um, Trilux off. Yeah. My Trilux off, thank you. I didn't mean to. I know you didn't mean to. Yeah, that's all that holds it on. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. But now you can see here, and basically 
I don't know if you can see that. They're just they're just loose. So we're gonna have to sort that out. Apparently this fault was common with this type of anode. We put in two new bolts with a touch of dried Loctite on them and then it was back to the hoist. we decided to come to Belfast Lock for um, the winter is um, Beth's just easing the sail a bit we're just a little bit over over uh, you can just about see it in there uh, just over 10 degrees so Beverly reckons uh, we're a little bit overpowered but the telltales are say, flying lovely. She's just knocking about with uh, getting um, her sorted so that she's doing a bit. A just a little closer. But the main thing, as I say, is about coming into Belfast Lock is this is a Saturday. And um, as you can see, it's flat calm here in the lock, which is uh, pretty great. And we're just getting a little winter sailing. Well, autumn really, because it is autumn. But we wanted to be able to sail um, during our time. And because it's a um, 24 hour access marina, then we can do so and we can go when we like. So our, we've got a little um, rendezvous. Gonna see meet Bev's mum today. But look at that sail. As you can see we're on the other tack with some birdies and stuff but this is the nature of sailing um, we actually want to go <laughs> oh yeah that way that way which is behind us so it's going to be a squall okay we're going to have a tall but anyway Another tack coming up any minute. See ya. It's a lovely evening down here in Carrick Marina. Very scenic with all the cloud being bottom lit. That way, the lads don't blame me. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is a big list of things that you should do and shouldn't do. And one of the things that you shouldn't really do, but you do do, 
is squiddle all your boat away and your half cup. On booze? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Have you been at an RNL I do drinking wine? Might have had the odd glass. Bottle? Maybe. But I do like the RNLI and I think you should go out and then support the RNLI at any time we can. But we came in um, it's as, and it's as well we for didn't you. really have enough time to squirrel the boat away. So we just, um, obviously we did the lines and made sure she was secure that way. But we didn't do all the little things that we do. It's as well the camera woman's sober. Yeah, well, possibly, but I've no idea. But anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, it's just one of the many things that you should really try and avoid um, because it was the um, power cable more than anything else. I think I slipped on it about four times. And um, luckily we've got, well, it's not luckily, we do have lifelines because we put them there for a good purpose. You mean you didn't fall off the boat? I did not fall off the boat, but I did leave. Those lifelines are going in the morning, I'm telling you, girl. <laughs> what? You want me to fall off the boat? I've got to find the amusement where I can take it. I could call the RNLI. Think about it. I did not want to call the RNLI. I've called them quite a few times recently. Belfast Coast Guard, Belfast Coast Guard. Uh, my crew member's been supporting the RNLI and has fell in, and we'd like to call them out. Oh, come on, it's got something going for it. Something, but anyway. Try and avoid it, if you can. Um, because, like I say, it, you, you, the accidents... The, the, um, you're going to have a little bit more... The chance of having an accident increases greatly. But the boat is scrolled away and we did support the RNLA. Which has got to be good. Well, we've been over to Carrick and now it's a nice little gentle sail back across the lock. <sighs> so this is the uh, current captain because we do take it in turns, don't we, Bev? We do. And as you can see, the skipper's working flat out. Absolutely. <sighs> this is what it should be about. Working flat out like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Beverly did the hard job and told Annie to engage. Oh yeah. Mr. Annie, engage. She's a girl. I know, but all officers on a uh, boat are referred to as Mr. Say it again. All officers and sub-officers are referred to as Mr. Well, okay, so even though Annie is a girl, she's a Mr. Technically, yeah. I mean, I don't know whether the Navy has moved on and, and, and gone from Mr. to Ma'am. I don't know. But generally, all officers were referred to as Mr. Fair Just enough. Like ship surgeons were Misters. Fair enough. Which is why people train for years to become a doctor, to become a specialist, to become a consultant. And then when they've done that, they go back to being a Mr. Hey! You know, you don't see Dr. Smith anymore. You see Mr. Smith, the consultant. Mm. Ooh. Uh, battery's growing low, so I'm going to close this up now. Yeah. Hello. Oh, sugar. You twat! <sighs> okay, I'm back in position. You're videoing you, but it's not as good a silhouette, the light. Yeah, the light has just faded. So, silhouette, what are you going to tell us? Oh dear. I did consider getting changed uh, into my millions, but it's not worth it. We're half an hour out from Bangor, and I'm not getting changed for half an hour's worth. It's not that cold. We could do with a bit more wind. It would be nice to be doing six knots instead of four knots, but it is what it is, and we just have to live with it. But we've got a lovely view. We've got the sunset behind me, all clouded up. We got um, Harmony and um, Cave Hill and Divis and Black Mountain down over there. You can just quite see the sun's over there. We got the Stena Line ferry going out to Liverpool. I'm glad we've missed that one. You don't want to have to dodge ferries. And over that way, we've got Carrick, Fergus, and Kilrick. And it's nobody out here but us. We're the ones making the noise, yammering away to camera. Yeah. 
And right here, there is nothing. Yeah. But like I say, really quiet. Yeah. But this, this. That's Carrick behind us. Yep. Um, and. Uh, nope. 1.9 nautical miles to Bangor. Mm, okay. <laughs>